perennial of the year, right? It is. Did I get it is that right? the perfect <laughs> launch plant for today. This is Asclepius tuberosa, also known as the butterfly plant. And it was named perennial plant of the year by the Perennial Plant Association. So this has been judged by gardeners, true gardeners that know exactly what they're talking about. So you know, this is long flowering, mm -hmm. drought resistant. It also grows in wet soils as well as dry soils. It will grow in all areas of the US. Mm. It's hardy as well, so it will come back every year and it will be swarmed with butterflies. That's why they call it the butterfly plant. And let's show you, we have some photos and videos of this in full bloom. It does start with a red bud, but that's what it looks like. Also called Orange Glory? Yeah, it's called Orange Glory, which is the particular variety. So this is specially selected for those orange flowers. They will open as red and they will change very slowly over the course of a few weeks to this lovely orange. They will be swarming with butterflies, especially those lovely orange monarch butterflies. They particularly Yay. love the nectar on these beautiful Asclepius. Also, hummingbirds. Beneficial insects. Now, beneficial insects such as ladybirds. Is there such a thing? Yes, because <laughs> they will feed on the green fly, the black fly, all of the naughty insects. So it's kind of cannibalization, but it's actually helping you in the garden. And the wildlife that doesn't like it are deer, rabbits and squirrels. So All if you've right. got problems with those in your garden, this is the plant for you. So it is the butterfly plant. Let me show you how it's provided yeah. though. Because this, you may think this looks a little bit strange. You might think this is a white carrot or what on earth is this here? But this is a bare root plant and you're gonna see a lot of those over the next few weeks. And this is a dormant plant. So this is ready to be planted into your garden as soon as we send it to you. We've lifted wow. these from our Dutch growers in Europe and they are lifted at just the right time. So basically the plant is dormant, it's asleep. So it barely knows it's been moved. This is ultimately the best way to grow plants in your garden. Ultimately you can get six of these for the price of one of those bigger plants in the DIY right. store or the garden center. So why pay for a bigger plant in May, June? Mm -hmm. And why pay for all that compost, the bigger pot, when you can actually order six of these now for a fraction of that price? And they will grow exactly the same. So plan ahead with your garden. Order these now and you will have that effect. In the summer, you'll have swarms of butterflies, hummingbirds, bees as well. There's a lot of news at the moment about endangered bees. So we need to do what we can to help That's them. That's right, everybody can do their part for the environment. Let's mm. talk about how easy this is to take care of because if you're a little intimidated by gardening for the first time or you wanna try something new, uh, mm -hmm. let's talk about sun and shade requirements. Sun about at least six hours a day? Yeah, at least six hours a day, But so they will put up a little bit of shade, but ideally they need to be in a nice sunny area. So mm -hmm. they're drought tolerant. They'll be perfect for those corners of the garden where it's always baking hot sun and you, oh, you plant okay. things there and they probably never survive. <laughs> plant the Asclepius there, the butterfly flower, and it will survive. It Blooms will all love summer. a sunny position. It will flower from June through to August, September. There will be flowers on the plant at any one time. And remember, swarming with wildlife, all of those insects and butterflies and bees that you want in your garden, there'll be so many flowers, you will barely see the foliage. It has ultimate flower power.